If it's something Spinosaurus is known for, is that it's ever changing from T-Rex killer to fully aquatic to mainly aquatic to somewhat aquatic back to fully aquatic to quadruped back to biped then a weird in between then it went on to could it effectively swim oh wait a minute are we sure so wow this dinosaur sure knows how to keep paleontologists on their toes although it's widely agreed upon in the paleontological community that they were mainly piscivores but i'm here to answer an important question did spinosaurus only hunt fish for us to figure this out, we need to first understand what its ecosystem consisted of. To be honest, little is known about its ecosystem just as little as Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus has been discovered in Egypt. This species is known as Spinosaurus aegypticus. Potentially, another species exists in Morocco, known as Spinosaurus moroccanus. It is estimated to have lived in the late Cretaceous period between 99 to 93 million years ago. Alright, so we got a place and time set down. Now it's time for us to fill it up with other creatures that it likely coexisted with. The other theropods the Spinosaurus lived alongside with included the King of Africa, known as Caracodontosaurus, as well as some others known as Deltodromaeus and Bariosaurus. While we're at it, let's give a fun fact. Despite planet dinosaurs showing Sarcosuchus living along Spinosaurus, this actually wasn't the case. Can't tell you how many years I believed in that. In terms of other organisms, as well as potential prey Spinosaurus coexisted with, included Paralotitan, Egyptosaurus, Crocodilomorphs, Fish, Turtles, Plesiosaurs, and Pterosaurs such as Cirrocoropteryx. To be honest, it seems that a majority of these creatures were geared around an aquatic-based ecosystem. But let's get more into Spinosaurus's overall stats. Well, this megatheropod's average size was likely to be around 14 meters in length and 7.8 tons in weight. Its bite force was a fair few notches lower than some other predators of a similar size, having an anterior bite force of around 4,829 newtons and a posterior bite force of 11,936 newtons, as according to Sakamoto's predicted study. According to Sakamoto's same study, Spinosaurus exhibits adaptions in the craniomandibular morphofunctional complexes that confer a competitive advantage in achieving higher closing speeds with reduced muscle effort, resulting in a greater displacement advantage, albeit at the cost of bite force. This resulted in their jaws also having a disadvantage of not being able to take large amounts of pressure. So clearly their bite is great for catching fish, not as great when biting into the thick heart of a sauropod. So since we know that Spinosaurus would have at least been a part-time fish eater, we should check out what type of fish was on the menu. I'd imagine Spinosaurus likely hunted most fish within its water systems. Two examples of this include the Mosonai and the Onchipristus. Although adult specimens would undoubtedly have been a challenge for even the Spinosaurus to take on. So we have our setting laid out, the Spinosaurus stats, where it lived and what it coexisted with. So now we can get onto the details. Did this megatheropod solely eat fish? In my opinion, the basic answer is quite simple, but the extended answer is anything but simple as is normal with the Spinosaurus. Obviously, the Spinosaurus would not have just consumed fish. You'd be very hardly pressed to find a creature that solely ate fish while still being semi-aquatic. I feel like it should be no surprise to anyone they would have likely scavenged off any dinosaur carcasses that it came across. But scavenging off a carcass isn't the same as hunting them. So let's take a look at one of its ancestors, the Baryonyx. A baryonic specimen was discovered to have bones from a juvenile iguanodon in its stomach. Another specimen was discovered to have a tooth located in a South American pterosaur. Now sure, Spinosaurus doesn't equal baryonyx, but the fact that baryonyx was also found with fish remains shows that it's likely that Spinosaurus would have filled a similar niche. This could be in the form of hunting juvenile sauropods such as the Paralotitan and Egyptosaurus. But now you may ask, why doesn't the Spinosaurus just hunt the adults? Paralotitan is undoubtedly out of the picture. This is because it could have weighed as much as 50 tons, which would be extremely difficult for a predator adapted to hunt sauropods to take down, let alone a fish-eating theropod that would have lacked speed and agility, as well as the bite necessary. I could see more of an argument being made around the Egyptosaurus, this being because they were significantly smaller being around the 7 to 10 ton range. However, I just can't see the Spinosaurus hunting an adult Egyptosaurus. Sure, on paper, someone could argue its quick biting ability would help deal bleeding damage. However, its bite force was still weak for its size, and its straight conical teeth lacked the serrations required to inflict significant bleed damage. Rather, it was built for gripping onto slippery prey, again, pointing towards a primarily piscivore diet. I mean, let's quickly compare it to two other large theropods, this being the Caracodontosaurus that he lived alongside with, as well as the infamous Tyrannosaurus rex. 
Out of the three, the TX was clearly evolved to be the most battle ready of them all. Its thick skull and robust conical teeth were made for tanking high pressures and shattering bone. In Sakamoto's study, T-Rex had an anterior biforce of 25,000 newtons and a posterior biforce of 48,500 newtons. That is four times that of the Spinosaurus. Meanwhile, the Caracodontosaurus evolved a slender build, and though they had a weaker anterior bite force of 11,312 newtons and a posterior bite force of 25,409 newtons, it still implied that they were built for dealing better with bones than that of the Spinosaurus. Even at its lowest end, it rivaled the Spinosaurus. Their teeth were also highly serrated, with 32 serrations per centimetre, and it likely had a high replacement rate, unlike that of sharks. I think in a way, it's reflective of the Giganotosaurus, hunting smaller sauropod within its environment. Unlike Spinosaurus, both could deal with high relative stress qualities, which shows they were able to consume larger prey items. I believe Spinosaurus likely built an opportunistic role in its ecosystem, where it mainly relied on fish for its food. Now, although we may debate its exact hunting style, whether it acted like a stork on the water's edge, or would swim through the waters or whatnot, it undoubtedly was a piscivore first. Although my opinion on the matter is that Spinosaurus acted like a stork, fishing from the shorelines or in shallow waters, rather than being an aquatic pursuit predator. This is supported in the article, The Ecology of the Spinosaurus, written by paleontologists David W.E. Hone and Thomas R. Holtz Jr. And although I do believe this, I wouldn't be overly surprised if Spinosaurus turned out it could swim, but just not on the level of like seals and crocodiles. For example, Matteo Fabri's et al. 2022 article on subaqueous foraging among carnivorous dinosaurs suggests that Spinosaurus may have been more comfortable in the water than on the land or shoreline, with the possibility for it to even do deep dives. But either way, it simply wasn't built to compete with the other theropods that coexisted on the land due to its aquatic nature. It wouldn't be able to chase herbivores down and its massive sail would have undoubtedly given it away to almost any sauropod. If a young injured or sick sauropod was good for the taking, then yes, the Spinosaurus would take advantage of it and take it out. As Baryonyx and Sukumama say both fish and dinosaurs alike, Spinosaurus would almost definitely done the same. But it's due to the fact that it evolved more so from an aquatic ecosystem that it was geared towards eating fish before anything else. Which makes sense, as an ecosystem like this would require widespread niche partitioning. Imagine if Spinosaurus, Caracodontosaurus and other theropods all had the same niche of hunting terrestrial herbivores. It would be in an intense power struggle. It makes more sense for each of them to be an apex of their own domains, and Spinosaurus was made the apex of the rivers. Ultimately, my answer of whether Spinosaurus only hunted fish is no, but it was mainly a piscivore with variations in its diet pertaining to circumstances of size, environment, populations, and availability. It wouldn't just give up open prey items just because they were terrestrial. And with the possibility that they partook in underwater foraging as presented by Dr. Mateo and his team, then it just cements the Spinosaurus as mainly a piscivore. Anyways, we've reached the end of the video. As always, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, as well as checking out my TikTok and Instagram for shorter form content. I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.